Welcome back to Fairly Walking. It's me, Ellie, again. And today I find myself in the wonderful Bocao Food Fest. You guys, this is a festival like none other here in the city of Santo Domingo. I'm super excited to show you everything there is to see here. What the environment is like, what the gist of this whole thing is, what food you can find, and what that food tastes like. So I'm here to give you the full tour and review of Bocao Food Fest 2022. Hang on tight. The food fest this year was held at the Botanical Gardens and they reserved an entire lane of the street for cars to park. However, they did have also a drop-off and pickup location so you were encouraged to take a cab. The organization to get in was spot on because you had to buy your tickets beforehand and when you went in you just showed them the QR code and you're all set. The cost was around 850 pesos for the entrance fee. So I just got my entrance badge and here we go. I'm super excited and super hungry. So let's see what we can find. So this is my first impression when you come in. This is the view you get. How awesome is this? So what exactly is Bocao Food Fest? Well, this whole thing originated with two food bloggers, Dominican food bloggers, that they went to New York City one day and they found that there was a food festival called Smorgasbord. I'm not sure if I'm butchering that, but anyway. They decided to take that concept into the Dominican Republic and in 2015, they held the first Bocao Food Fest. Bocao actually means um, taking a bite out of something to eat in Spanish or in slang Spanish. Now these bloggers had already had a, a good following with Bocao. So they decided to make it a brand of, of this food festival. So now their brand is not only associated with their food blogging, but they're also the ones that are responsible for this entire food festival. to do what we came to do best eat some food the first thing i tried were these venezuelan tequeños which are basically dough filled with cheese inside these were truly delicious next i tried these burgers from a burger place called the crime it was really really good and it was around 350 pesos and as you can tell the size was just enough that you were able to eat a wholesome meal but without getting truly full so you can eat all the other Apart from the food, there were also drink stations and I also found a sushi truck which was really good.
So apart from the food, they also sold a lot of merchandise, everything from clothing to novelty items, hats and stationery, everything in between. So they had this little alleyway prepared exactly for that. Another cool feature was this beachy lounge area sponsored by Corona the beer. They had soft seating and like floor seating and they had a lot of sand on the floor so it kind of looked like a beach luau kind of thing. Really, really cool. And of course, there was a kids area. You did have to pay separately to get in around 900 pesos, but it did have a lot of activities. It kind of looked like a school fair and it had everything for kids from age zero to about 12. One of my favorite features in this area was that they had a zip line. So once you paid the entrance fee, you were able to take the zip line as many times as you wanted. They had a wall that you can scale up and they also had a kitty show. So it was a very, very good thing for families with small children to be. And in case you were wondering, they did have bathroom designated areas. Everything was very clean and organized, so I really appreciated that. Nighttime has fallen here at the food fest and this is awesome. You want to believe how magical it feels. As you can see behind me, all the lights are lit. This is so beautiful. It has a lot more people, so it's a lot more crowded, but the atmosphere is booming. I love it. environment for 